What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you something really cool for you guys that are using Ubuntu and this is how to get TeamSpeak into your dash bar and I mean for me it's obviously something really cool because I do not like to run TeamSpeak by terminal all the time and this has made, made, made it so easier for me just to you know pop TeamSpeak and boom I'm connected with my friend. So to do this all you have to do is go ahead and go to this website right here which is going to be down below in the description I'm going to download TeamSpeak uh, client and save it so that's going to take us a little bit alright so it's being saved into my downloads folder just right here but I'm going to change the direction of this I'm going to paste it actually in my documents I'm going to change it to my documents okay so the reason why is because I'm gonna actually extract this um, dot run into my my uh, documents and I'm gonna make an application so I can execute and lock into my dash bar and that's why I don't like this to be in my downloads because I'm always deleting everything that's in my downloads so to be able to execute I mean extract this to have a folder so I can execute TeamSpeak from there. All I have to do is open up a terminal and click CD to change directions. D documents and tap to complete all and now I'm in my documents. Okay. From here, all I have to do is give the permission to run this file to extract it to my documents. So to do this is shmod space my uh, plus X and then capital T team capital S com tap to complete all and click enter and then dot forward slash capital T team capital S tap to complete all click enter and then it's gonna ask you to press Q you press Q and then one more time Q and then now you're gonna choose Y and then boom you should have TeamSpeak uh, clients pull it right here into your whatever um, place that you say yours okay so now I want you guys to go to the internet and find an icon that you wish to have to TeamSpeak because we're gonna make a application e executable and make sure it's .png in the end so I'm gonna choose this one right here which I already saved my I'm just gonna yeah I already saved my and where you're gonna save yours really don't matter I save my on my home folder so if I click control H it's gonna show all the hidden files and I made a folder uh, named dot icons if I can find in here let me see oh, there you go so I made a folder dot icons and I already pasted my TeamSpeak icon right here and the reason why we're doing this is because our um, application needs an icon and this is where the icon is being saved and I'm gonna show you how we are gonna make this application executable okay so now we are gonna make an app application so right click it into your documents if you saved yours in documents or whatever place you saved yours um, go new documents open a new documents and we're gonna type team speak 3 dot desktop and this is gonna make uh, it's gonna convert it to an application all we have to do here is go to properties permission allow executable file okay so now from the terminal as I am in my documents over here I'm already in my documents I don't have to change directions I'm gonna go and type nano teamspeak dot desktop tap to complete all now I'm inside of my teamspeak dot desktop the file that we just created uh, all you have to do from here is copy this script right here which I'm gonna uh, paste it 
to you guys and down below in the video so you guys can copy and paste it too. Um, I'm going to paste this and this is my script. Everyone else is going to be different. Obviously your home forward slash TJK that's not going to be your username that's going to be your username and here your icons um, direction is going to change so my icon like I was saying it's on my home direction so it's on dot icons and TeamSpeak icon PNG and this is where I'm going to show you right here okay so I'm going to use this one right here that's the name of this icon so you have to right click it rename it and copy the whole thing don't forget the dot PNG because we are making as an app and we are making an application you do need an icon for that and then we're going to click control O to overwrite and enter control X to exit and there you go you got TeamSeek right here so if I double click it boom TeamSeek is up and running I can right click it and lock into my launcher I can close this close that close this too and click it one more time and boom I have TeamSpeak on my Ubuntu launcher easy as that you don't have to go to terminal and do the whole fuzzy little thing that I showed you guys on my first video so once again if you like this video subscribe thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time in my next video